Yeah, it's Roger Cordic here again. It's been a while since I made my last little progress note when it comes to telling how good my car is on the road and on the track and obviously everywhere else where I can't mention. Well, the thing I like to just mention today is I'm very sick to my stomach about the other Cordio people and how and their level of incompetence. Basically, they just don't know anything as good as what I can do and my level of, of intelligence when it comes to diagnosing and fixing cordial turbos. I just hear too many funny stories which I just can't believe and the trouble other people go through. It's just unworthy and unrecommended to them to suffer the consequences of other incompetent people. It's just unbelievable. Like, what can I say? too many stories, where do I start? People taking their cars to other people them thinking their car will be fully fixed up or they're not like for example there was a car, Cordy Turbo obviously where the person original couldn't get it started so they took it to another person which the original person thought they'll fix their car but they couldn't for like three weeks and obviously I got the call because you know I know more and I'm the Cordy King, King Cordia as as you probably all know and I at the end in just under one minute I got the car started so I didn't want to embarrass them too much because they probably knew how bad they were so they just need to learn you know if they have any issues they just have to come to somebody that knows what they're doing and basically you know if they don't know what they're doing about cars or cordies in general they should just take it to somebody that does and that's me I'm here and I'm the best there is and the best there was and you know they just don't see that I don't know what the, what the hell's wrong with them like they spent three weeks of no having no car and all I come is just one minute and basically I got a car up and running so that's what you get for being a King Cordia you know I do all the time I hear so many stories a lot of incompetent Cordia owners don't know what they're doing they take their cars to mechanics that's how incompetent they are and they talk so much like on the forums you know a lot of them talk their cars and thinking that they're, they're so good well, at the end, I find out that they, they don't touch their cars. They get their mechanics to touch it. So that's just how lame they are because they don't know how to do anything. Well, I do, and I do everything as good as everybody else cannot do. And, you know, that, that's just a sad thing, but it's just the way it is. What can you do? Like, I try telling them to do their own stuff, but not they get other people to do their cars because they just not don't have the power, the brain power to you know, be as good as, or a level of intelligence of diagnostic procedures that I'm able to initialize. You know, so, I try to tell them to, you know, take the cars to people that know what they're doing, and if not, just tell me, because I'm there, because I know what I'm doing, and they don't. Like, they're just incompetent, I just, you know, I, I, I get these call. I come to the rescue too many times, like, uh, on MSN, and in real life, like I just, I just go there for fun because I know it's easy for me, and it's a walk in the park. But you know, what can you do? I just, you know, do what I got to do my duties. Like, because I know everything there is to Cordy Turbo and how to fix them all the time. They're just wimpy, you know. They just don't know how to do anything properly. Like I don't mind you know, going out to other places, other locations to diagnose a Cordy Turbo issue that the person being with the car can't get fixed or whoever somebody else fixing. Like, I try, like, I, I don't mind because it's not too bad because I know what I'm doing and I take my time to go there for fun because it's something which I can do anytime and it's 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 just a it's like a game you know I always win I always succeed there's there's not a, not a quarter tub out there that I couldn't fix and you know people out there just you know some just try on their cars and they can't get anything to work properly like they should just leave it to a professional like I 
because if they continue working on the car and not getting through, like they're going to be failing as always, as what I've seen in the past all the time. And you know, it's just natural. It's just natural for me to do what I do and how to do it. And you know, their level of incompetence, like fixing cars, they just don't know how to do things. Like say, it's like that that car I was talking about that couldn't get started for three weeks. Like, what what would you like to have your car at someone else's place for three weeks and not get started? Or would you take your car there and have it there for only one minute and having it started? Like that's my that's a situation which I which I analyzed. Like it's just that's just how it is. You know, there's people out there that think they know about Cordia turbos and how to fix them, but they don't. They don't have the level of intelligence that I do and my performance when it comes to diagnostic procedures. That's just you know what I've learned in the past, you know. I minimize embarrassment and ashamedness to the person that's working on their cars. You know, I'm just used to it. Like, I don't call myself the King Cordia for nothing. So, you know, that's just one thing. So, before you trust anybody else, just make sure you know that they that they they know what they're doing because you're the one that's going to be failing and suffering of incompetent Cordia Turbo people that don't know nothing. There's a high percentage of those people, like over 98, 99.9% of quality people don't know what they're doing. And basically, obviously I'm the 1% that doesn't know how to do stuff and how to fix things. And, you know, it's just unfortunate that there is, there's nobody out there that's is highly intelligent and, and comes to fix the quarters like I can. And, you know, I'm there. I can, I can help out anytime, but, you know, I'm just the one. What can I say? Mm-hmm.